So a few minutes ago, I tasked you with the challenge of making a more interactive version of this spirograph program. Rather than making a set number of shapes, rather than making, uh, you know, for example, just 20 squares like this program has, what I asked you to do was to create a program that asks the user to give some input. I want to make an octagon with sides of 50 pixels each, and I want a total of 12 of those octagons. Okay. And so what did you do to solve this problem? Hopefully you managed to solve it, but just in case not, or if you want to compare your answer to mine, let me show you my solution. Mine's hiding off here on the side, and you see that what I do is basically what you might expect. right? I still start with my places, everybody, and then I have three pairs of asks and set. I ask how many sides are on the shape, and we set sides to that answer. How long is each shape? And so I get three variables, sides, length, and shape. And then it's simply a matter of figuring out how to use those down here in, in the spirograph code. So let's look in, sort of in, inside first. Just like we looked before, we want to start uh, inside of the parentheses, as it were. This code right here is basically the code that makes a single shape. This is what we saw earlier in this module with Shape Tracer. right? I put in I want to make an octagon, so eight times move 50 steps, because I gave 8 and 50 for this. And after each move, turn 360 divided by 8, which is 45 degrees. And this block of code made me one single octagon. And then what I want to do is to actually make multiples of those octagons. And so in this case, I just said I wanted to make 12 octagons. And so 12 times we make an octagon. But of course, after each octagon, I need to turn a little bit. And the question is, how much do I turn? And this is probably what I expect maybe gave you the most trouble. But it's really pretty basic. If you look up in the, in the inner block, the inner block says sides times turn 360 divided by sides, and we know that completed the octagon. And since I want a full circle of these octagons, then shape times, I want to turn 360 divided by shape. Right? And again, that, that gives me a, a complete 360. And so I can run this with whatever it is that we asked for. Uh, let me make you know triangles of sides 50, and let's make 12 of them. And not a problem, right? We get a real nice, I made them a little small, but we get a real nice little shape there. Okay. Now, you may have noticed that uh, I use a, a different block here to, to get this in there. This is a good transition to our next unit. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to move on and look at the homework assignment for this module, where you're going to write some code that uses interactive questions to write a program that responds to those interactive questions and does something. But looking ahead to the next module, we're going to start looking at how we add in uh, the functionality that allows for us to use mouse and keyboard events as part of our program. So that's something to look forward to.